gangrene. It is defined as massive necrosis. That means cell death with a super added putrefaction. Means decaying of the tissue due to ischemia, loss of blood supply. And the different types of gangrene are dry gangrene, wet gangrene, and a variant of wet gangrene is called gas gangrene. Dry gangrene. This is a picture showing dry gangrene. The causes of dry gangrene are Reynolds disease, trauma, atherosclerosis. In these conditions, the blood vessel is constricted and the blood supply to the tissue becomes less. And gangrene spreads slowly upward until it reaches a point with abundant blood supply to keep the tissue viable. And there is a line of separation formed between the healthy and the gangrenous part. The morphological features are the affected part is dry and shrunken and dark brown in color is seen. The black color is due to presence of iron sulfide which is due to liberation of hemoglobin from hemolyzed RBC which is acted upon by hydrogen disulfide which is produced by the bacteria. Hydrogen disulfide is produced by bacteria and iron is from the hemoglobin from hemolyzed RBC and this reaction gives to ferrous sulfide which is black in color so because of this the affected area is black and shrunk and dark let's see the histopathology histologically it shows smudging of the tissue with necrosis that means damaging of the tissue and the line of separation has granulation tissue with inflammatory cells Next, wet gangrene. It occurs in moist tissues or organs like bowel, lungs, cervix, mouth, etc. And diabetic food is a type of wet gangrene which is caused due to the high glucose level in the necrosed tissue which favors the growth of the bacteria. And bed sores which occur in the bedridden patient due to pressure on sacrum, buttock and heels. Due to this, the wet gangrene happens. And the wet gangrene usually due to blockade of venous and arterial blood flow. There is a blood accumulator in the affected part which causes increases the bacterial growth. And the toxins produced by the bacteria cause septicemia and finally death of the tissue. And there is no clear cut line in the separation like dry gangrene. In dry gangrene, we can see line of separation between the between normal tissue and the gangrenous part. But here there is no clear outline. So the morphological features are the affected part is soft, swollen. This is the intestine showing very blackish color of the intestine, and it is swollen, putrid, the dark and rotten is seen. Example gangrene of bowel. And the histopathology, the mucosa is sloughed and ulcerated. The lumen of the bowel, bowel contains blood and mucus. And the presence of inflammatory exudates and thrombosed vessels. Now, gas gangrene. It is caused due to gas forming bacteria called Clostridia. It is because of the bacteria Clostridia. And they enter into the body through wounds or from surgical sites after surgery of colon which contains clostridia it produces toxins which causes local necrosis and edema and are also absorbed causing systemic manifestation this is a figure showing gas gangrene the morphological features are like affected area is fallen painful crepitant and edematous due to accumulation of gas within the tissue because of the bacteria and the affected tissue becomes dark black and it is a foul smelling the very bad smell and the histopathology is the gram positive bacteria is seen in large numbers and the muscle fibers undergo coagulative necrosis with liquefaction and a zone of leukocytic infiltration and congestion are found so this is about the different types of gangrenes, their morphology, histopathology. Thank you for watching. Keep watching.